Hey everyone, welcome back. You can see karma do its thing right in front of you. Yes, the world has always had your back, and things are about to get really interesting. Take it easy and let the show begin. There's nothing you need to do. If you're new, please accept my warmest greetings. Let's spread those good vibes around here. Do you ever think about why some things happen and why some people get away with everything? Today we're going to talk about how everything ends up being the same. We're about to settle the scores with those who did you wrong. Keep an eye on it and let's start. You can see the truth behind the scenes and can feel the spiritual fights getting stronger. But remember this. Anyone who has hurt you on your journey will have to deal with the results of their deeds. Faith in karma and the thought that God is watching out for you are very important. Yes, you're protected by something much bigger than all this bad stuff. Remember that every low blow or dirty trick they play on you will come back to hurt them ten or even thirty times over. You ask why they are after you. For this reason, you are on a wonderful path of spiritual awakening. You now have a unique understanding that lets you see the truth that other people can't. What do you know? You have a reason for being here. Something important needs to be done, and you are right where you need to be to do it. Don't lower yourself to their level and resist the desire to fight back. Negative forces are just trying to stop you by using other people as pawns to mess with your mind. Keep your mind on the trip you're on, be strong, and trust it. You're being led every step of the way to do something amazing, and no amount of bad vibes can stop that. It seems like everyone is against us sometimes, right? It can be hard when people who are stuck in their own darkness try to dim our light. This is especially true if you're awake and have chosen to live a life of light and purpose. It's like all of a sudden people who can't stand seeing you shine are motivated to hurt you. People on a spiritual road often go through this. There are many problems for them, not just because of the situations, but also because of people around them who seem to be on a totally different path. It could happen in homes, at work, or in relationships. The people you least expect to be holding that bad energy are sometimes the ones who are. A lot of this bad energy comes from what's called the Jezebel spirit, which is just a figure of speech for those really bad vibes. This spirit wants to wound you and bring you down to its level of sadness and darkness. But here's the thing. No matter what you do, nothing will hurt you. Why? Because God is protecting you. Sometimes it may feel like everyone is at odds with you, but that's just a sign that you're onto something big and bright. If you can believe it, the people who are mean to you are seeing your light even if they don't know it. The light of your spirit makes them scared because it's something they don't understand. You make room for something amazing when you leave something that doesn't serve your greatest good, like a job that drains you or a relationship that makes you feel empty. Setting yourself free to follow the road that God, the universe, or whoever you believe in has planned for you. You may have noticed that some people or things at work are doing things that don't make sense to you. And it's hard to accept that people you trusted, maybe even family, aren't really on your side. There is a bright side, though. Realising this truth is part of your journey. This is like suddenly being able to see clearly and know who is really for you and who isn't. Being shocked by this fact is a given. It can be painful to see people for what they really are, especially if you thought they had your back. It's a gift to be clear, though. It keeps you away from people who are negative or who are plotting against you, so you can focus on what's truly good for your heart. Don't forget that there's a kind of balance at work here. People who have hurt you, whether they know it or not, will learn their lesson in time. The most important thing for you is to keep your vibe high and not think about what they did or why they did it. Getting rid of that negativity will make you feel lighter and more open to things and people that are meant to help you on your way. Isn't it strange? People who are close to us may not always understand or back our goals or the changes we're making. Then there are times when strangers help in ways you wouldn't expect. Letting go of the old and welcoming the new is all part of the trip. Trust that you're going exactly where you need to go in life. 
There are people who don't always want you to win. They plan and arrange things to bring you down. But here's the thing. It's not your job to fight whatever bad things they say about you. As you move forward, remember to keep your vibe high and stay true to the good energy you give off. Responding to their bad mood is exactly what they want. It's their goal to bring you down to their level, to disturb your peace and to get you off track. You're stronger than that, though. Your spirit is strong and your calling is greater. They get very angry when you don't let what they do affect you. Through their deeds and mistakes, they show everyone who they really are. It's important to keep your cool, especially at work, where rivalry and anger can get the best of people. People may do many things, from office politics to direct harm, to make sure you fail. But don't forget that a higher power is watching over you and guiding you. These attempts to hurt you will fail in the end and come back to hurt them. When someone is mean to you, don't respond back. Instead, just brush it off. Your gifts and the way forward don't depend on what they do or agree with you. There's nothing that can stop you from becoming great no matter what people do. Let your success speak for itself as you keep shining and rising. At work, it can feel like you're not getting anything done, right? People always look to you for help and even ask you to do their own work. Still, it seems like no one is there for you when you need help. Even worse, some people seem to want to bring you down more than they want to lift you up. I agree that it can be really annoying and wear you down. You're able to get through this because you are. It looks like this hard trip is a rite of passage. It's where you can grow. Those sneaky plans and bad vibes that are thrown at you won't stick. You're protected by something much stronger. The idea that no one can really hurt you. So smile even when things go wrong. It's not enough to just get through things. You have to grow through them too. You are on a road that will lead you to something bigger. You are part of a wave that will change the new earth. You are going towards a place where bad things can't happen. The people who want you to fail are not in God's plan. Don't worry about their small faults or plans. Their karma is coming, and it's going to be strong. They'll see that they were wrong to underestimate you. Remember that the people who have tried to dim your light can't follow you because you're going to a place of happiness and meaning that they can't reach. Do not stop moving forward. You're about to do something really cool. Don't let bad things happen to you. Keep your head up and stay focused. The people who have been putting you down will have to deal with the results of their deeds. God has your back and wants you to keep going without letting the drama get in the way. Right now, the world is very crazy, so it's more important than ever to keep your good mood. It's not time to run away or give up when you face hatred or negativity. You were put on this trip for a reason, and you have the skills to get through it. Remember how valuable you are, and don't waste your time or money on people who don't care about you. God wants you to trust him, and says he will deal with those who have hurt you. If you stay positive and keep moving forward, you'll easily stay away from people who are bad for you. Every day, start with purpose and happiness to protect your mind from any bad thoughts that might come up early. You will be safe because you are strong and resilient, and you will also find a better road by leaving behind people who can't see your light. Life sometimes puts you in places where you have to deal with bad people right from the start of the day. It could be a rude text or call in the morning that makes you feel bad before you even have a chance to drink your coffee. If this sounds like something you've experienced... It's important to stop the vibes where they start. You don't need that kind of bad vibes. You might still be pained from something that happened yesterday. You were upset before bed, and you're still upset when you wake up. You need to let that go. People who try to put you down by saying things like, you're not good enough, or you have no skills, are not seeing the real you. The good news is that there is a higher power watching out for you and making sure those bad plans don't come true. Especially for people who have recently had a spiritual awakening, you may find that the workplace is becoming more unfriendly. Some people may be plotting against you and telling lies to bring you down. But here's the deal. Don't worry about it. As it should, what's meant to be will happen. And if someone else's dishonesty puts you out of work... It might actually be a good thing. It's a push towards something bigger and more in line with your true mission. Even when bad things happen, trust the path you're on. 
Don't forget that everything is part of the big plan. Truth will come back to you if you've been mistreated. It's important not to put yourself down for them. Keep your mind on your goal and your spirits up, and let the world take care of the rest. You are moving towards your final calling through everything that is happening to you. Just remember to let go, trust the process, and keep going when things get hard. Remember that life is all about making things right when things go wrong. Sometimes they come back 50 times stronger. Imagine being fired from a job because of a mistake or dishonesty, and then being called back with more money. It seems appealing, right? However, why go back if they didn't stand by you and listen to your side? There is a reason for every challenge and setback. They all bring you closer to your true mission. Believe in the way God has set out for you. He often uses these problems as distractions to get you exactly where you need to go. Remember that even when things get hard, they are all working together to help you reach new heights and be the best version of yourself. Follow your heart, give off love, and let that be your guide. When people are mean to you, stand your ground, but don't join in the mudslinging. Raise your waves so high that the low-frequency ones can't even reach you. You don't have to avoid problems. You just have to figure out how to get through them. When your vibes are high, people who want to bring you down can't get through. We should keep spreading love and trying to be the best we can be. Remember that the world has your back. If you related to this message, please click the like button to show your support. Let's keep the good vibes going. I'm going to take a short break, but the trip doesn't stop. We'll keep going strong and spread love and light every step of the way. Watch this space for more, and until then, keep shining bright.